What's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about how to calculate the right amount of calories for you to lose weight. So, break out that pen and paper and let's get started. Before we get started, I just want to say that while this method is probably going to work for a lot of you, for some of you it might not. Now, just like many things in life, this isn't guaranteed. Okay, you might have to make a couple adjustments here and there, and if you do, for some reason, if it doesn't work for you, just contact me and we'll figure it out. Also, this is a very simplified version of how to calculate your calories. There are more in-depth equations that take into account factors like your body fat currently, or your daily activity level, or a bunch of other different things. I'll show you a couple right here. Okay, these are very useful, but they are a little bit complicated. So. That being said, I'm gonna give you the easy version that's gonna get you in the ballpark of these. So first things first, we need to establish where we're going, what your goal weight is. So, I'll use myself as an example. I'm 205 right now, I wanna be 185. So we're gonna take that 185 and we're gonna times it by 12 and that will get us our calories. So for me, because I'm trying to get to 185 pounds, I multiply that by 12 and that gets me 2,220 calories. So if I were to eat those calories every single day, that should result in weight loss for me. So right now, take a second and all you have to do is replace that 185 with your goal number. So whatever you want, whatever you're striving for times 12 and that's your number. Now, once you have that amount of calories, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to eat that exact amount every single day or you're not gonna lose weight. What really matters is your total at the end of the week. So, if you had a day where you just went off the rails but you still put everything in your tracker, you can account for that by eating a little bit less every day of the rest of the week. Not to starve yourself one day and then get back at it, but to take a little bit away from each, each day or if you're planning on having a fun weekend with friends, you can have a big chunk of those calories on a Friday or a Saturday and eat a little bit less in the other days like leading up to it and that Sunday right after. So you can manipulate it however you want as long as protein stays the same and those calories add up at the end of the week. Now, maybe you're not a mathematician or you just want to double check your work. Make sure to go ahead and download your fat loss starter kit and there's going to be on the nutrition tab, there's going to be a fat loss calculator. All you have to do is enter in your goal weight. So you just click on the square, enter in your goal weight and then right underneath you're going to have your daily calories for fat loss. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to me at coachfits one at gmail.com.